Hello and welcome to this tour of my playable Lego violin. This violin is made entirely from unmodified Lego bricks with no glue used at all. It can be tuned to standard violin pitch and there will be a demonstration of playing the violin a little bit later in the video. There are two alternate bows which I'll be showing later on. A pure Lego bow and a hybrid bow which incorporates horsehair like a traditional bow. So uh, when we're using the pure Lego bow, the only non-Lego parts are the four strings, which are normal violin strings. As you can see, I've had to make some modifications to the standard violin form in order to do this out of Lego. There is this structural backbone, which you can see in grey, which basically keeps the body rigid and provides really solid anchor points for mounting the head and, uh, sorry, the neck and the tailpiece. The neck is not tapered. I don't think there's any way to do that in LEGO without losing the strength and functionality that's required. So it's six units wide all the way up, which makes the strings quite nicely spaced down at the bridge. However, at the top end, the neck is very wide and the head is very bulky indeed. Inside the sound box is pretty much the same as a normal violin. The curved forms of the front and back plates are built up from five layers of overlapping Lego plates. There's a sound post underneath the E string just behind the foot of the bridge and there's a bass bar running under the other foot beneath the G string. The bass bar is not especially substantial but unlike a normal violin it runs the full length of the body and I've also put some extra support so it doesn't actually have to span the full length. This is not based on any kind of experimental evidence, just my intuition and judgement that it might be required. Unfortunately, I really don't have time to do those kind of experiments properly at the moment. It actually takes quite a lot of dismantling to uh, uh, before the front plate can be removed. And so to do that uh, and then close up and reassemble and tune up again, it makes it uh, very, uh, very time consuming to experiment with different uh, internal configurations. When the strings are tightened they pull together like so very strongly and that force is mainly taken by the front plate of the box which is just overlapping Lego plates but this is actually very strong if you overlap them by more than a few studs. The backbone adds rigidity to the back plate, giving the sound post something good to push against, but also, maybe even more important, provides really strong rigid anchor points for the tailpiece and the neck. And I made these points extra sturdy so that the thing can't rotate and flex like a parallelogram. These extra beams, of course, uh, just help to stop the neck joint from flexing at all, which makes the whole thing uh, less delicate and makes tuning easier as it cuts down on the uh, natural flexibility of the uh, uh, plastic. Uh, now concealed inside the neck there are actually some small Technic beams just to pin it together and uh, I put these in because when I made my prototype it actually separated at this point when I tuned it up. This violin has a very large head. This is basically as small as I've managed to make it so far. It needs to be eight units wide because the fingerboard is six units and the strings have to follow a fairly straight path to the tuning gears. And now I've got the 40 tooth uh, gears here for the tuning. I used the 24 tooth gears in this prototype and they started slipping before I got anywhere close to standard tuning. Uh, the 40 tooth gears are able to get enough leverage just about. Uh, another thing uh, to note uh, we've got this uh, parallel arrangement uh, also that is just to in order to make the head a little bit smaller I managed to save two units by doing this rather than having them staggered. Um, Here's a quick uh, view of the prototype. Uh, these photos are a bit rubbish, but they're the best I've got. 
And the final thing to mention is that the strings do need to be tied onto these little wheels, uh, otherwise they will slip.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 